Top story on KPX5 and streaming on CBSM Bay Area. Google's footprint growing in the South Bay. Good evening. I'm Veronica Dela Cruz. And I'm Ken Bassina. The most recent purchase, a mega deal to take over the Cisco buildings in San Jose. And that's one of four properties the tech giant just purchased. And while some are excited for the economic growth in the area, KPIX5's Kid Doe joins us now with some concerns from residents. Kip? Yes, so at last count, Cisco was still the largest private sector employer in Santa Clara County. Roughly 10,000 employees or so, but that could all soon be changing in the future. That's because we are witnessing a changing of the guards happening right now before our eyes in Silicon Valley as Google expands its, foot, its footprint while Cisco downsizes and lays off employees. The cluster of Cisco buildings along Tasman Drive has seen better days. Sidewalks are dirty, there's a stripped out abandoned car in the parking lot, and a few RV dwellers have set up on the street. But Google could soon tear it all down and build a huge new campus on the 25 acre lot and bring in thousands of new employees. Seems like it's booming right now. Huge. Santa Clara County Tax Assessor Larry Stone says Google is making major inroads into San Jose via North 1st Street. This building on North 1st at Headquarters Drive known as Assembly on 1st. This huge construction project underway on 1st Street and Brokaw Road. And this mega campus on North 1st Street and Nortec Parkway in El Viso. Silicon Valley is transforming and adapting itself once again from the chips and fab plants of the 70s and 80s to the cloud-based companies of today. Well, it's a generational swing. I I mean, what, what's hot in Silicon Valley changes. Council Member Lund Diep welcomes more jobs to San Jose because right now many residents leave and go to work in other cities. And when they do that, they take their tax dollars, they take their lunch money, they take their dry cleaning money, and they don't invest it in San Jose. As the 10th largest city in America, I should hope that we have enough jobs in San Jose to attract people from the suburbs coming into our city during the daytime. And you can hear it right now. Antoline Alday lives directly across the street from the Alviso Mega Campus and is not looking forward to the traffic as people cut through the once quiet neighborhood where they have lived for more than 60 years. We have Levi Stadium just a few blocks from here, so now we're going to have more traffic and more individuals here. So it's going to, you know, it's going to be more of everything. And so about that traffic, there is a light rail line that goes up and down 1st Street. So the key here is for city leaders to make sure that there is enough housing built in this area to keep up with demand, to keep all of these new workers, once they move in here, keep them off the freeways and clogging up the streets. We're live in North San Jose, Kipto, KPIX5.